Kathleen Henderson from Roots and Boots and today we are down in our garage about to install a new chest freezer organization system. We store a lot of meat in our chest freezers and upright freezers and it can get pretty disorganized. So Freezer Max reached out to us about trying one of their freezer organization systems and we're gonna give it a shot. We have emptied all of our meat into an assortment of coolers here to keep it cold while we install the new baskets. Greg is scraping off the ice. The freezer is empty and we defrosted it it's important for the freezer to be at room temperature and completely dry. 68. And then the next step is to measure from this side wall to the edge of this compressor box. Oh. Now we're measuring one of the blue rails. Our measurement was 68 inches, so we're gonna cut these to 67 inches, one inch short of the total measurement. So then after you make your cut, you wanna make sure that the blue rail actually fits in the space, and ours does, so we're good to go. So the next step is to install the rails. We have a set cut for this side and a set cut for the other side. And now we're gonna use these installation guides to position the rails and actually adhere them to the walls of the freezer. So next you use these installation guides. You wanna make sure that the blue side is pointing up and then you just position this blue rail in these slots and then you use those gray installation guides to make sure that the rails get installed at the right spot. Um, so next we are going to peel the paper backing off of the adhesive. The adhesive is supposed to be very heavy duty and permanent once it cures. Peel that off. Got it, make sure it does not fall. Yeah, I got it. And then I'm gonna use the, I'm do the whole thing by myself. You got it? Make sure it's pointed all the way that way. Then you just press it into place and then someone is gonna take their fingers and walk them along that blue rail pressing it in to the wall of the freezer to help that adhesive stick. So now we're adding the second half of the rail. At every step, we are checking to make sure that the rail actually fits in the spot where we need it to go. And then these installation guides are really handy to help make sure that the rail is positioned at the right height and that it's level. We're now working on the second upper rails. And so we're using the upper slot here on the gray installation guides. And the process is still the same. Just peel the paper backing off and use the gray installation guides to position the rails correctly and press them onto the side of the freezer. All right, our second upper rails here are installed. 
And now we're going to do the same thing on this front wall of the freezer. We've got both sets of rails installed and now we're ready to put the baskets in and load them up with meat. So we have eight of these adjustable blue baskets and they rest on the rails. They rest on the rails like that and you can slide them. I think they will slide better once they are weighted down with food. We're organizing all of our different cuts of meat into the baskets. We wound up using a stationary tub in the very bottom. And then this is the area that is on top of the compressor shelf. This is all of our bacon. These are all roasts in our big tub. This entire freezer is pork. This little white basket came with our freezer and it's filled with some odd cuts and older things that our family needs to eat first and we need to make sure not to distribute in our monthly meat CSA. And then down here are pork tenderloins. Under there is pork fat. This is sausage grillers. And then those are pork chops over there. And then we're saving these baskets for ground pork, which we have a considerable quantity of. We did find that once the baskets are weighted down with food, they slide more easily and they seem to lock in place in whatever size you have adjusted them to. So, so far so good. This is our ground pork sausage going into the baskets. So what do you think now that it's all installed? Well, I think that I'll have to use it a little bit to make sure, but this is the same amount of stuff that we had in it before. Like we literally took it out, put the system in and put it back in. And I still have a little bit of room. I mean, in the event that I, I needed a little bit more room for whatever reason, I could leave everything where it is and put them in there. And it's, so it did accomplish providing a little more room and I know where everything is now. I'm not digging through everything to find it. So at first we were skeptical about the capacity. We were afraid that installing the system might decrease the capacity a little because we had everything so crammed in there. We were using every square inch. But surprisingly, once we have the system installed and everything loaded back in to the freezer, it actually seems like there is more space now. And like Greg said, we can get to everything more easily. We can remove any of these baskets to get to the meat underneath and these baskets all slide. So we can also access the underneath areas that way. All right, time for a quick update on how this freezer mat freezer organization system has been working out for us. I am here in the garage, the garage of many freezers. So many freezers. This freezer we call our pork freezer because it contains mostly pork, super creative, I know. And I'm gonna show you how the baskets have been holding up and what we think about it. I'll just get right to the point. It's worked great. We really like it. My husband loves it so much that he's actually hoping to add the same system to our remaining chest freezers, of which we have several more. I do wanna point out that we added these little round locks to the baskets. We were a little concerned about the baskets potentially um, like buckling in or accidentally kind of closing in on themselves a little, like shortening up and then falling. And so the makers of the Freezer Max freezer baskets were really awesome and they sent us these which they have added to their line of products more recently and so those seem to be helping and we haven't had any issues with the baskets collapsing or anything like that they have been so sturdy we're super impressed frozen meat gets really heavy 
but the baskets slide and like I mentioned before the added weight actually seems to help them retain their proper width and dimensions this way so that they stay on the rails and it also helps the baskets to slide more easily the weighted down baskets slide more easily than an empty basket and we are very pleased with the way these baskets have been holding up and have been keeping all of our various cuts of meat organized it's working out just like we hoped it would and that is how to organize a chest freezer with the freezer max freezer organization system be sure to like this video and subscribe to my roots and boots youtube channel for more homesteading homeschooling home-based content here on youtube